Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you have a great morning this morning. It is Thursday morning, as always, a coffee kind of morning. Hope everyone's doing well. Cheers to everyone. Finally getting back to you um, since all this work schedule has changed and I haven't been able to do as many videos as possible, but um, I'm glad I'm able to do that today. I'm going to continue my look at my album collection, my vinyl collection from A to Z. This is going to be part six of the C's and uh, only 10 of them at a time to, just to keep it short and simple. Uh, so let's get into it. There's going to be a lot of Canadian content in this one, which I love. I hope you guys do as well. So let's get started. Um, I've kept this one sealed. I have two copies of this one. It's a band called Chimo. Again, still sealed. Um, there's the back of the album there. Uh, it's on the Revolver label. Uh, great jazz fusion, jazz rock band formed in 1969 from Perry Sound, which is on the shores of Georgian Bay or near Lake Huron. Um, one of the major beautiful Great Lakes. Um, only active till about 1971. But they play with a ton of uh, big, big names in the day. Uh, Chicago and the band and Janis Joplin and Alice Cooper and the Stooges. Uh, I was fortunate to find a used copy of the same album uh, a little while ago. And uh, again, on that uh, cool Revolver label. And uh, really, really good stuff. I've kept the other one sealed more for sentimental reasons because it was a gift. Uh, it's not going to be a, a very um, expensive album later on down the road, I don't think. But I'll keep it, keep it sealed just for, just for uh, giggles. But, um, yeah, you've got um, Silk and Silver Melody. Say that ten times fast. Is That Your Girl, Hourglass, Lonely Girl, etc. Blues, cool track. Elephant Band, Sheba, uh, Time Waits for No Man, Possessions of Mabs, and Day After Day. I've shown this a few times, but uh, really, really good stuff. Actually, I just showed it on Sam St. John's um, 200 Sub Contest as one of my sealed albums, so... Speaking of Canada, <coughs> pardon me, kind of an icon in Canadian music and international music, obviously, but uh, you're talking about Burton Cummings, um, remarkable, remarkable artist, um, honestly, famously known for lead singer of the Guess Who uh, from 1965 to 1975. One of the finest vocals, vocalists, sorry, in rock history. Um, successful solo career as well. Um, Canadian Music Industry Hall of Fame. Uh, also, he's been named to the Order of Canada, which is the highest honor that you can receive as a Canadian citizen. Uh, this is 1978's Dream of a Child. Um, it's got Break, him to the Gen Break, Break It To Them Gently as the big hit on this one. Um, also, Guns, 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 which is one of my favorite tracks by Burton Cummings. This is on the Portrait label. Guns, Guns, Guns is such a great, great track. It takes to fool the love of fool, meaning so much, dream of a child, roll with the punches, it all comes together. Um, then you got Break It To Them Gently, as I said. Oh, hold on, I'm coming. When a man loves a woman, wait by the water. Uh, I will play Rhapsody and uh, uh, Shiny Stockings. Produced by Burton Cummings as well. Um, won a Juno Award, which is Canada's equivalent to the Grammys uh, of Album of the Year in 1978. Also a triple platinum selling album for Burton Cummings. So awesome, awesome album by Burton Cummings. Uh, we're going to stay in the Canadian mode here. Amazing alternative rock band, the Cowboy Junkies. Uh, this is uh, Pale Moon Crescent Sun. I got that backwards. Pale Sun Crescent Moon. <laughs> See, you get out of practice and you screw up. Um, it's a beautiful double album by the Cowboy Junkies. Uh, alternative rock band from Toronto. Um, formed by the uh, Timmons sister and brother act of Michael, Peter, and Margot. Amazing vocalist Margot Timmons. 
she's not only gorgeous, but a beautiful voice. Um, and uh, it sounds wonderful. Produced by uh, Michael Timmons as well. And uh, on this beautiful black vinyl. And uh, 1993 release. Uh, fifth album by the band. And um, you got the beautiful voice of uh, Margot Timmons, as I said. Michael on guitar. Alan uh, Anton on bass. And Peter Timmons on drums. Um, and I've kept the, the hype sticker in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. But yeah, amazing, amazing album. Um, really, really good stuff. Um, Cowboy Junkies. I'll put that back a little later. Uh, this was a, a in a box of, of uh, records that I was given. And... I kind of poo-pooed it for a bit. Didn't really look at it, but then I, um, um, then I put it on, and I was kind of blown away by it. Uh, Southern rock band from Jacksonville, Florida, uh, formed in 1969 by uh, Tommy Talton and Scott Boyer. It's a band called Cowboy. Um, the album's called Boyer and Talton, but uh, yeah, it's on Capricorn Records. Really, really good country rock, southern rock. Um, they kind of a nitty gritty dirt band kind of sound and a pra uh, pure prairie league type of sound. But uh, yeah, it's um, really nice uh, find. I'm glad I revisited that uh, that box to discover this fine, fine album. But uh, yeah, cool. I love the cover as well. Love the cover. Kind of that old, old style photo. Um, what else we got here? Um, this was in that box as well. Um, not my favorite album. Still kind of cool. Kind of a doo-wop, uh, art rock type of, uh, type of sound. This is Vance by Kenny Vance. Uh, the album's called Vance 32. Hence the, uh, back of the shirt um there he is there it's on the atlantic label again not my not my favorite i'm not a big doo-wop type of type of sound but because it's it's free i i, I enjoyed it <laughs> i guess but uh really amazing voice you got the carnival montage i'm so happy rainy day friend my true story uh blue because of you parker's band in each other's arms uh honeymoon in cuba Dirty Work, What a Wonderful World, uh, Looking for an Echo, Carnival Montage 2, and Looking for an Echo Reprise. But, uh, yeah, great vocals. Again, uh, more of a doo-wop type of, type of person. And, but, again, I'm not big on that. But uh, 1975 release, really, really good stuff. Uh, going back to some, some Canadian alternative rock, uh, really good album. This is Chalk Circle. Chalk Circle from Newcastle, Ontario, which is about 80 clicks from Toronto, uh, just on the edge of, of Toronto. Uh, the band was formed in 1982, and um, this is 1987's uh, um, Mending Wall. Um, there's the, it's on Duke Records, and uh, a great alternative music. Good fences make good neighbors. <laughs> but Chalk Circle was huge in the 80s. Uh, this is their first full-length album. Um, and uh, most of the album deals with uh, different issues of the day. Um, economics and uh, nuclear uh, annihilation, <laughs> which is huge. Uh, the title, the, the big, big single was The Morning, which is not which is pronounced like your morning, not a morning like a typical morning um but a great video as well and great uh, great track so um check out chalk circle they're really really great alternative rock band from canada um what else we got here uh this is uh, british rock and pop and alternative rock uh again in that box of great albums that i was given i mean there's so many cool cool stuff that you forget about but this is Lloyd Cole and the Commotions 
the album called Easy Pieces um, from Glasgow, Scotland. Um, acted between 84 and 89. This is 1985's the Easy Pieces, the second album. Um, and uh, you got the brand new friend uh, Lost Weekend and Cut Me Down as the singles off of this one. But um, yeah, awesome stuff. Great rocking album. Lloyd Cole and the Commotions. Getting back to Canadian music. The great Coney Hatch. Everyone's heard of Coney Hatch. Great rock band out of Toronto. Um, lead vocals, Carl Dixon. And guitarist as well. Uh, vocals and bassist, Andy Curran. Uh, guitarist, Steve uh, Shelsky. And drummer, Dave Ketchum. Um, this is 1983's Out of Hand. There's the boys there. Typical, uh, typical 80s looking rock. But it's on the Anthem label. Um, there they are there. And uh, just a great rocking album. It's really, really good. You got uh, Don't Make Me, uh, Don't Say Make Me, Shake It, First Time for Everything, Some Like It Hot, uh, To Feel the Feeling Again, Too Far Gone, Love Games, Fallen Angel, and Music of the Night. Great band. Coney Hatch. And I also have uh, 1985's Friction, their third album. Again. Great rocking album. Um, again, Carl Dixon on lead vocals and guitar. Uh, Steve Shelsky on lead guitar and vocals and keyboards. Andy Curran on bass and lead vocals. Uh, Barry Connors this time on drums. And uh, yeah. Great album. Friction by Coney Hatch. And last but not least, because uh, I still have a few more to go in the seas, uh, another album that was in that box of cool finds. Um, this is a, just a kind of a laid back country rock, psychedelic rock album uh, called, from Michael Cassidy. This is Nature's Secret. Uh, Michael Cassidy, a Scottish singer. Um, cool album. I need to give this one more of a listen. It's uh, on the uh, Golden Lotus Records label. Cool, uh, cool uh, album design or the label design. Uh, you got uh, lead vocal and guitar Michael Cassidy, flute Gary Peterson, lead guitar Steve Bartik, uh, cello Robert Lee Barton, or Barnhart, sorry Barnhart, uh, bass uh, Bill Brenlin. Um, and uh, backing vocals and drums, uh, Drew, um, Lawrence, keyboards, Wayne Cook, banjo, Terry McNally. So it's all kind of all over the place, but um, all written by Michael Cassidy. And it's really, really good album. I'm really pleased with this one. Nice laid back listen. Nature's Secret by Michael Cassidy. So there you have it, guys. Ten more albums out of the seas. Uh, I'll be back again. Hopefully, as soon as possible, uh, with another 10. I probably have uh, two more sections to go uh, in the uh, in the seas to wrap that up. And then we'll just keep on moving on. Have yourself a great one of the... Uh, sorry, have yourself a great rest of the day. Uh, love you all. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye now.